Um, <clears throat> well, there you go. That's all I got going on in my life. Oh, my God. Oh, let me hold oh, my wife. Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell. Oh, we, had, we had a couple of dumb fights this week, right? So I had like super early calls where I had to get up at like set the alarm at like 440 in the morning. So the first day, you know, I'm sleeping next to her and it goes, whatever the fuck it does. It's an old school alarm, but whatever. That's what it sounds like, right? It literally sounds like a duck is telling the worst story ever right next to your fucking ear, right? Just starting off on 10. It's like, dude, build the story, you know, start low and take me somewhere like quack, 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 quack. Yeah, that's how you do it. You don't just you don't come right out of the fucking gate. Hey, you wouldn't believe what fucking happened to me. These goddamn ducks with their fucking stupid stories there. So, um, anyway, I fucking, uh, I wake up, you know, after a rough night because I'm fighting off this cold because both of my kids, you know, have colds, you know, so I'm going to bed, you know, I'm taking NyQuil. Okay, you take NyQuil, you go to bed, and you have like those cold medicine dreams, you know, where you wake up in the morning, and you're like, did, did I commit a crime last night? Or was that like, no, no, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Did I beat the fucking shit out of that guy at the gym? I had a dream last night, I beat the shit out of this. Like, it was this weird thing where I was going to use the bench, not for benching, to do tricep work, which is a really, that's a fucking no-no at the gym. You know what I mean? Because everybody goes and does their chest Everybody wants to work on their chesticles so the ladies can be like, oh, my God, you're so, are you He-Man? I thought you were He-Man. Um, yeah, and then you don't do any back exercises and your fucking shoulders come forward and then you fight rotator cuff issues like I am for the last fucking goddamn forever, right? But I'll do it if there's nobody else in the gym and there's another, like, bench station available. But in this dream, I just went over and I did it. And as I did it, this other fucking guy wanted to use the bench. So I'm sitting there, and he walks up to me, and just ever so gently, he slapped me in the face twice. The first time, I'm like, do I know this guy? And then he did it again. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then for whatever reason, he was on that, that you know, that station that um, you fucking, you stand up on, and then your forearms support you as you take your feet off the where you have your feet and then you lift your legs up and you do ab work he got on one of those and I just went up and I just grabbed him by his fucking throat and I started slapping him and I was just screaming you don't fucking slap me you know this is this is because I'm telling you NyQuil is fucking amazing and then it's also like you know you're gonna have some really weird violent at least I do I have like violent dreams and I commit crimes and I assault people I don't know what's going on so I had those dreams, and then I wake up, and I had, after having a beet salad, and then I think I'm dying. Um, so whatever. That's what the fuck I'm going through, right? So anyway, so my fucking alarm <laughs> fucking goes off, and my wife's like, oh, what? Oh, my God. Jesus. Pillows, right? And she fucking goes back to sleep. So anyway, and I go to work, right? Like the fucking man I am. I trudge out the door with my script, time to make the donuts, right? I go out, fucking door, and I go down to Crafty. She fucking gets around, it's Crafty, right? I get my little breakfast on set, as they say out here, on location. And I get a text about three hours later. And my wife, she says, hey, can you do me a favor? If you have another early call time tomorrow, you know, can you, can you sleep downstairs or whatever? Or sleep out, you know, in, in, in my room above the garage. Can you sleep out there? That's what she wanted me to do, right? So I come home. You know, and she sent the laughing emojis. She tried. She was trying to be nice to a NyQuil man with beet juice in his urine, right? So I come home, right? And she goes, do you have another early call tomorrow? You know, not how was your day? Not, oh, there's my man who went out and earned some money so we can all eat cornflakes tomorrow morning. That's not what she said. It's not what she said at all. She said, do you have another early call time tomorrow? And I said, yes, I do. She goes, can you sleep above the garage? And I said, I'm not sleeping there because what if this is the night some fucking guy comes through the front door and I'm out there sleeping and God knows what happens to you guys. Now, that might have been the night quill talking, but that was the first. <laughs> it's the first thing I thought of. So I don't do that. And the next morning, 440 in the morning, Matt, Matt. Right? <laughs> so I get up 
And I can feel her anger in the dark. I can feel her anger. So I go in, trudging in, you know, and I'm in the shower. And when I'm in the shower, she comes walking in to use the bathroom. And she walks by with the fucking, this look on her face, okay? Like she's that guy in the league that never gets a fucking offensive foul, right? She comes fucking walking right by. And I was so fucking mad. I'm like, I'm thinking like, I'm the fucking guy getting up at 440 to go fucking work. You're going to go back to sleep, right? So I did what most adults does. Right as she got out of my vision, I gave her the double finger from inside the fucking shower, right? This is, this is what you do when you're married, okay? And, um, you know, she was like mad at me. And I'm thinking like, rather than me just being like, Bill, you know, you're leaving and then she has to take care of two kids and you're waking her up at 440 in the morning. Rather than thinking that, I'm thinking like, Ugh, you know, I'm the guy getting up, going outside to go pretend to be something I'm not. How about... Put a little respect, right? So I fucking leave. I go to work, right? To be or not to be? That is the question. Okay, could you do it this time and not stress it is? Could you stress the B? Yeah, yeah, I got it. All right. Still roll it. To be or not to be? That is the question. That was the one. That was the one. Right? So I come home for work, all right? Now she's two days getting woken up at 4.40, all right? And I also got up at 4.40, so tensions are rising, like Russia, Ukraine, within my marriage. This is like what's happening, like troops have been brought to the border. Um, anyway, so I fucking, uh, yeah, so I do my day, right? And I came home, and then... Later on that night, you know, she's a little fucking grumpy, right? I'm a little tired. So you see what's going to happen, okay? You have a high-pressure system next to a low-pressure system. You know what's going to happen, right? So she goes outside at one point towards the end of the night when I'm getting ready to go to bed, and she walks out and she leaves the front door open, wide open, as we have the heat cranked. So I'm one of those dads where I'm just like, we got the heat on, fucking close the doors. That's how I was brought up. What, you, geez, what, you feel you brought up in a barn? I always loved that when my parents would say that to me. We were you raised in a barn? It's like, well, why don't you think back? You raised me. I think pretty much we were in a garrison colonial. Um, so she leaves the door wide open. So I just go to like, just not close it all the way. I'm leaving the door ajar. And as I'm going to close it, she's outside going like, I'm coming back in. I'm coming right back in. Don't close the door. I'm coming right back in. Do I listen? No. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. The heat is cranked and it's going outside. Right? So I just close it like that. And then, you know, she comes, she was bringing a kid seat in. You know, all she had to do was just shoulder the door a little bit. It would have swung wide open. So now she's not really mad about that. She's mad because she hasn't gotten the right amount of sleep because my fucking thespian douchebag ass is fucking waking up at her up to at 4.40 in the morning. Right? So she just comes. She's like, why would you do that? Why would you close the door? And I said, I was like, I didn't close the door. I just, I just don't understand why you would do that. And then I was just like, I was like, you know what? Why would you give me a dirty look when I'm the guy going out the fucking door making the money to make to, to earn money for the Cheerios? It's because I'm not talking about that. Well, I am. Right? Had this big dumb fight where she, of course, immediately tried to make up with me because she's more mature than I am, right? And I'm like, Ugh, I'm still mad, right? And then the next day she texts me after I got up after sleeping over the garage, another 440 in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Going back off to work. To be or not to be, that is the question. All right? She texts me about halfway through the day. How's it going? All right? That's not what she said. She said, how's it going? Because she's a sweetheart. And I said, well, I love you again. Which got a big laugh via text. And it was over. Just like that. 